Hello people, welcome back to follow that. So I'm going to show you how to get this. The ballistic equipment. It is pretty incredible and probably maybe the number one reason or one of the best reasons to have a bunker and to do the gun running mission. So how do you get the ballistic equipment? I'm just going to walk you through it in this short video. So first up, yes, you need a bunker and you need to go to your computer in the bunker by this icon and start the gun running missions. So here we go, I'm gonna log in. And something to know, there are a whole bunch of research uh, weapons that you can unlock, but you can't do them in order, it's random order. So you have to wait until it gets unlocked. So there we go, ballistic is unlocked for me, and that's just a question of time, or you can fast track the research and spend some money. But when that is unlocked, Ballistic equipment, that is the only way you're going to get this. So, let me show you how it works. There we go. Right, so, if you, hold on, let's just have a look here. It is, right, so we've got the ballistic equipment. Go to war stock, cash and carry, and scroll down, it's near the bottom. And then once you've unlocked it, then you can purchase it. Until you've done that, there it is, ballistic equipment. Until you've done that, it has a lock sign in it. You can't purchase it. So buy it now. There we go. That is what we're talking about. So 500,000. It's not cheap, but it's kind of fun. And if you've got enough to buy a bunker, you've got enough to get a ballistic, surely. And then it will come in useful. There we go. Sold. So you can now request ballistic equipment drop via the inventory section of the interaction menu. But if you're inside, so here we go, ballistic equipment, there we go, it's not available, so I need to go outside. Now it's available and then for $5,000, cheaper the price some might say, it will unlock it and basically it drops near you and then there's a green skull icon, there you go, that appears and you just walk into that area and then wait a few seconds, increased health and access to a minigun with unlimited ammo look at that it look it does look pretty cool and now you should bear in mind you can't go in a vehicle with this and you can't switch to another weapon but why would you want another weapon when you can do this so here we go so it gives you massive amounts of health and that unlimited ammo is great i mean miniguns already is it it's 10,000 ammo that you can fill it up with but this is unlimited so you can just keep going so if you want to do one of those things where you stake out and take on the cops, pick up those five stars, or I guess even if you're battling with another player, it would be pretty useful. You can just have a lot of fun with this. And look at that, even though I'm being shot at by the cops, normally you wouldn't last long, would you? So what are we, four stars, take out these helis, take out that one, shoot the pilot, down the plane. There we go, brilliant. So you can have a lot of fun, it's up to uh, five stars now. I've taken a lot of hits, but my health, there's hardly anything on there. And of course you can top up your armour as well, top up your health. So, you know, I thought I'd just have some fun with the cops and just go into this aircraft hangar and just do a bit of shoot shootout with my unlimited ammo. And here we go, it's another player, so I can take him out. But of course, there we go, we're on PC, aren't we? So, yeah, is someone cheating? It's a modder. Great, there you go, so they can withstand that rocket. And look at that, so annoying. what is wrong with these people? There you go, even though I'm shooting there, there's nothing I can do, because it's got God Mode on, so yeah. Thank you, great, thanks for wasting my time. I'm sure we'll go on and grief the rest of the lobby now. But anyway, modders aside, it is brilliant. It's well worth getting, give it a try. And when you're dead, it disappears, but you can get it back after a short delay.